Hey guys, welcome to the Ticket server. Um, I want to get this factory up and running as soon as possible, and to get this factory up and running it's going to involve a lot of crafting, so as you can see in here I've been constructing a lot of basic things that I've made a lot of in the past. I didn't realize there was one of these over here, now I'm mad at myself. Okay, so what we are going to do today is I want to make a bunch of these upgrades and because it's going to be a really repetitive process I'm going to do it off camera I'm just going to do a quick explanation of them and get a little system set up to help me out so the first one is an energy storage upgrade well I'm actually the first one is an overclocker upgrade and this is the one where I need a system to help me out here so to get this uh, you need coolant cell electronic circuit copper cable we'll go over the coolant cell in a second uh, the next thing I want is a transformer upgrade, electronic circuit, two times insulated gold cable, which is just, um, there's a, whoops, there's a couple ways to do it. You can either take insulated gold cable and put rubber on it, and insulated gold cable is just like that. Or, uh, you can, let me pop back over to this. You can just make gold cable and put two rubber on it, which is the method I used, which is three gold, and then you just plop some of that rubber on there. And you need an energy storage upgrade, and so that's RE battery, wood, electronic circuit. So an overclocker makes a machine work faster, but it takes more power. So you need an energy storage upgrade so the machine can use more power so it can use the overclocker. However, the machine's not going to receive enough power fast enough to use the overclocker at its normal rate, which is 32 EU a tick, and EU is just the unit of measurement. So you can use this transformer upgrade to um, let these machines receive more energy at once. And one thing I need to show you guys is back here I added a low voltage transformer so let me just go find one of those um, <clears throat> I forgot to put one on at the end of the last episode when we put that power cell out there but you need a low voltage transformer because if I don't have a low voltage transformer uh, it will explode because these machines are receiving too much power so the whoops, upgrade. The transformer upgrade just lets it receive more EU a tick, and so it can receive more EU a tick. It can use the overclocker to its full advantage and basically process things at one per tick, which is pretty good. But um, to make these overclockers, it's kind of a pain because you have to make these coolant cells. And to make these coolant cells, you have to put a water cell in an extractor, but these coolant cells don't stack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a system so I don't have to worry about the fact that they don't stack. Um, let's see here. Now, actually, if you guys were paying attention closely the last episode, where did I put them? They ran oh, I have them in the machines right now because I was processing them. Um, I've actually already made 10 overclocking units. I just... Uh, was waiting for a future episode to really explain them, so I didn't really say anything about them. But I want to make it a process to get this whole thing set up much faster, much easier. So, the first thing I want to be doing is I need to make some wooden transport pipes. So to do that, I'm going to need some glass, and I want to go ahead and grab some cobble for some cobble transport pipes. And I'm going to need to grab myself some wood. You know I have wood around here somewhere. No? Okay, there's my template chest. Oh, yeah. Um, good old UK vamp. The United Kingdom vampire. He's uh, one of the YouTubers I have on the server. You can see him in the description. Um, he decided he's much farther along than I am in Tekkit right now, as you can tell by the chest full of stuff. But he left me a present saying thank you for the server. So all these diamonds are going to serve me well because we're going to be using a lot of them in the near future. Anyway, uh, where's my where's my wood? There's two wood. Oh. And here's some more wood. So what we want to do is we want to make a set of wooden pipes and we want to make a set of cobble pipes. <clears throat> 
And then we're going to go down here and throw this chest in front of the extractor and go wooden pipe, <coughs> cobble pipe, and uh, hello. I do not want Girl Scout cookies. Thank you for the offer. Uh, there we go. So, um, some of you who are experienced in tech it may be wondering why I don't just connect the wooden pipe directly to the um, alchemical chest, and that is because I've had problems where connect with no uh, stone pipe in between a wooden pipe and a chest. Sometimes it eats items, which is quite terrible, and you don't want things eating items. But basically, this wooden pipe is going to pull items out of here. The items in here are of course going to be coolant cells, and it's going to just pump them into this chest. However, to power this wooden pipe, we need ourselves a redstone engine. So just click on that, and that's pretty easy. We need a piston and some wooden gears. So let me go ahead and get two wooden gears set up for us. So just break that apart. There we go. Don't happen to have any iron in my inventory. So, not the right chest. Iron. Redstone. And wow, the Girl Scouts are really canvassing tonight. Jeez. Okay. So now, we just gotta make ourselves a piston. Uh, let's see here. And No, that is refined iron, which is not what we want. We want cobble and some wood there we go and now we just make ourselves the redstone engine and we'll just plop this down here and go ahead and steal this torch which I just put on the wall randomly and use it to activate this engine <coughs> so it's going to heat that up and I'm going to go ahead and make it daytime so we can make some coolant cells alrighty so we're back and we to make some um, what are they called? Empty cells. We need a crud ton of tin, and you just put tin in a four circle like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a ridiculous amount of these because coolant cells you can just never have enough of. Oh, jeez, creepers. Wow. No, you don't. Ah, oh, you did. Why would you do that to me? Okay. So we're going to go back over here and grab some water. Now why I'm grabbing some water, this is going to be a pretty boring process. Um, I want to make, uh, I just want to say, I noticed in some of my past videos I seemed kind of dried up, tired, bored, and uh, I've had a busy couple of weeks. I didn't realize that I kind of sounded out of it so much until I was not out of it anymore and I was listening to myself and I'm like, man, I'm out of it. So I do apologize for the lack of energy the past couple of videos. Uh, I hope that I am now back to my energetic normal that you guys have come to expect from me. And I'm definitely just, uh, by the way, you can just fill these up by water buckets. If you couldn't tell, I'm just kind of sitting here right clicking water into them, getting a bunch of water cells. Uh, I'm just going to continue doing this, and then I'll catch back up with you guys once all this boringness is over. Okay, guys, got all of my goodness. Now what we're going to do is something quite simple. Um, we're just going to put... Uh, okay, so this machine has some overclockers in it as well. Uh, we're just going to throw the water cells in here and they're going to turn into a coolant cell and then they're going to get sucked out by this wooden pipe since they can't actually stack which is a big pain and you'll see they just start filling up this alchemical chest which how many slots does this have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 8 times 13 is 104 and 104 divided by 64 so it can fit about one and a half stacks of things in here uh, one and a half stacks of coolant cells in here and once I actually have one and a half stacks processed I will go ahead and start crafting upgrading units with you guys. 
So I realized waiting for the coolant cells was silly because I actually have everything I need to get started on some transformer upgrades um, after I get some of this glass smelted up. There we go, this should be good, so I'm going to need glass, put that in there, electronic circuits, and I have an extra machine block, uh, insulated cable, and medium volt transformers, and let's see how many of these I can get, 14, I ran short on glass. Great! Uh, I'll just throw half of my over... Well, I'll just show you. If I throw all these overclockers in here... Well, this is a bad example. Normally when I throw all the overclockers in here, it uh, dies. I'll just steal some overclockers from you really quickly. Um, if I throw all of the overclockers I have in here, you'll see the machine stops working because it doesn't have enough energy in it, which is why we're getting these energy storage and... Um, what are they called? Transformer upgrades so that these guys can get more power in them. Just give you your overclockers back. <coughs> How's this chest doing? Pretty good. Okay. So just wait for this stack of glass to go and then we should be able to finish up the transformers. Okay, we got some more glass. We'll just plop that in there and see if I can... Yep. There we go. And I've already worked through almost all of my electronic circuits, which is fantastic. I'm going to need a lot more of those. Um, so why, now for real this time, why these water cells are getting cooked up, I'm going to create another half stack of electronic circuits. Luckily I've been doing a crud ton of mining, so I have more than enough ingots to do what I need, so I'm going to create another half stack of electronic circuits while these Coolant cells are filling up and all of that other good stuff. Okay guys, so I have two full alchemical chests of coolant cells and I have a bunch of materials ready. I just wasted wood on a pressure plate. I just wasted wood on two pressure plates. Okay, let's try this again. Um, we're going for the storage upgrade. So we want this um, electronic circuit. Let's see here. And then it's just wood. Okay. And I want half a stack of these for the factory. So let's see if I have enough materials here for that. Ooh, I got an extra one. I thought I had exactly half a stack. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this crafting benchmark too, but it seems like it consistently gives me an extra one, which I'm not necessarily complaining about. Anyway, now we're on to overclocker upgrades. So uh, this one's a lot simpler. Uh, let's just fill my inventory with these. Okay, this is probably going to be the most annoying part of all of this is let's fill this chest up and really quickly let's get some copper cables uh, throw down an electronic circuit and get a few of these guys okay there's my first overclocker unit let's just make as many of these as we can and now for more coolant cells let's see here all right, excellent. Fill this back up. Many of these as I possibly can. So right now, I know I'm going to hit a limit at 28 more. I'm not sure what I'll be at after 28. Actually, I'm only going to be able to make seven more because of my lack of copper cable. So I'm actually going to make some more copper cable and I'll be right back. Okay, so I made 16 sets of copper cable and 16 sets of copper make copper cable makes two and a half or not two one and a half stacks even. So let's see if I can finish this off and get um, 33. That's awesome. I'm still not enough. You need a lot of overclocker units, as many as possible. 
Uh, let's see here, we'll throw all of these in, and this will probably about take me to the maximum. Four more, right. So that means I'm breaking into this chest now. Alrighty. Or three more, I guess it were. Let's see here, there we go. I am now all overclocked out. And if I add this on top of the overclocking units I already have, and there's 10 more aside from this, that's uh, 57. And I'm going to have approximately 7 to 8 machines in the factory, so let's just divide that by 8. So that means I can have about 7 in each machine, which should be fine for now. Uh, I think I'm going to go to sleep for tonight, and let me check the time on this episode, actually. One moment. Okay, yeah, I have, um, I've had a, over 15 minutes, which is good, so uh, I'm going to definitely go get some sleep for the night, guys, and when I come back, uh, let's see here, I have the upgrading units, I've made the solar panels, which are actually over at the factory, and we'll get to that shortly. So, uh, the only thing I need to do now is make the machines that will be going into the factory. And then after that, we'll put the machines in, get some energy lines and pipes set up and such, and, uh, we will be good. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. Noodles.